back, Giants. I'm Jenny. And I'm Maddie. As we start off the 2019-2020 school year, we're going to lead you to some of Indy's hottest spots to end off the summer. And keep you updated on upcoming games and events. But first, we're going to get you back on track. Can you not? Seriously, what's your problem? I'm just trying to do my work, okay? When I was a sophomore like you, I socked off and now I'm paying for it senior year. I'm just trying to get back on track. Well, could you help me? Sure. Though we've had time to relax and have fun, summer is over, Giants. It's time to get back on track. Now that school is back in session, it's time to find out who your class 2020 president, vice president, and secretary are and why they are important. It's time to meet your class body of 2020. Hi, my name is Avery and I'm your senior class secretary. So right now we're working with the Thrive students to really help them get the life skills that they need. We're currently scheduling field trips for later on in the school year. Hi, I'm Veronica Aguilar and I'm your senior vice president. So I help pick out things for graduation and we help set up Spirit Week. I also help students throughout Ben Davis when they need help in classwork. Hi, I'm Mahala and I'm your senior class president. As senior class officers, we're going to do many things, one being we're going to sell food on Friday mornings as well as selling shirts. I'm Jaden Christner, BD TV. Thanks, Jaden. The new school year is back, meaning pocket trackers are back in action. Here's a few changes for the school year. If you are late to your class, you must go down to either the Commons or the Dean's office and receive a pass. You must have your ID or your student ID number. When receiving a pocket tracker, it automatically uploads it into the Skyward system. Consequences will be enforced if you reach a certain number of tardies. When you get five tardies, a warning will be given to you. When you get 10 tardies, you will receive a detention. When you get 15 tardies, you will receive a Friday school and anything after 20 results and a conference with the dean. If you have any questions, please ask a teacher or look in the student handbook. It is important that you get to class on time. Kira Goss, BD TV. We Love Indy started a few years ago at Warren Central High School when uh, a, one of the football players was killed uh, due to gun violence. This is an organization to prevent gun violence because there is lots of crime that goes on throughout Indiana and throughout the world itself. And this program is created to bring the community together as one and to try to spread the word and spread awareness to people across the country about the importance of gun violence. In the silence, stop 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 gun violence. What do we want? Peace. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Peace. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Peace. When do we want it? Now. Thanks, Maddie. What a great story and cause. I'm Adrian Reese with a new segment, Student Athletes Corner. This week, we are featuring a great student athlete on and off the field. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think it's that hard to be a student athlete unless you know how to manage your time well. Um, for soccer, um, we don't start till 4.30, so we get lucky with study tables before practice, so we, we got enough time to do our work and this and that. So, and then you got soccer, so obviously. It gives us enough time to do everything in school and outside of school. So outside of soccer, what I like to do is listen to music. I like to listen to the lyrics and the sound, and also play the accordion on my own time. After high school, what I plan to do is go to college, uh, hopefully play college uh, soccer. I got Wabash in mind, UND, University of South Carolina. Hopefully I get what I want from them, and I plan on majoring in biology and going into a chiropractor. If you are a student athlete or know a student athlete that needs to be featured, please contact me at Twitter at AdrianReese102. Adrian Reese, BD TV. Thanks, Adrian. Make sure you stay tuned as we continue to profile our hardworking student athletes. Now let's hear from Jalen about this week's upcoming fall sports. Welcome back to the new school year, Giants. It's Jalen Nolan. Our athletes have been preparing all summer long for this upcoming fall season. Here are some of the games we have scheduled for this week. 
The girls volleyball team started off their season Wednesday night against the Speedway Spark Plugs. Be sure to support our ladies as they play tomorrow at Beach Grove. Our boys soccer team had a game yesterday night against the Ritter Raiders with another game this upcoming Monday as they take on the Christmas Addicts Tigers at home at 7. The girls soccer team also played Ritter yesterday as they travel next Tuesday to Brownsburg to take on the Bulldogs. The boys tennis team had a scrimmage yesterday night against Covenant. The boys and girls cross country teams have been conditioning all summer long for their first meet, which is here tomorrow morning at Ben Davis. Now let's go over to Zion Brown for a preview of our football season. So go. So go. I'm Zion Brown here at the Ben Davis football field, giving a preview for the Giants season this year. Last year in 2018, they finished three and seven, in which they lacked consistency and sometimes leadership. This year, the Giants are looking to reverse that fortune. Rob, Rob, Giants set, or Rob, Rob, set. Got me. I tell, tell you what this team did. We put in a lot of work and we spent a bunch of time together. Uh, for us, you know, we had, we had to work on, we had to identify where, where, we, where we fell short a year ago. Uh, and we, we concentrated on trying to trying to address those situations, but we also just went to work in the weight room. You know, we got stronger as a football team, uh, felt like we competed hard, uh, got faster as a football team, and, and really just tried to show up and outwork people every day. Well, this off season, I've tried to work on my passing game. As you can see last year, I didn't have it, but I had the rushing games. So everybody thinks as I can't pass the ball, I can only run the ball, but I just want to improve my game and pass it And we have the wide receivers to do it as well. Oh, it's very important, for, especially for our seniors. It's our last ride. We've been here for four years, giving it, all our, giving it everything we got, so that's very important. But so we just got to go in, get back to the Giants football. Everybody thinks that we fell off, but we just now getting started back to the old ways. The excitement for the Giants 2019 season comes from senior leadership and consistency as a team. Hello, my name is Dana Wilson. I'm a senior here at Ben Davis High School, and I'm a manager with the Ben Davis dance team. At, with the Ben Davis dance team, I basically help the dance team all around. I help with any team bonding exercises. I help them with their conditioning they do over the summer. I'm their practices, so I'm really like a support system for the dance team. The dance team here at Ben Davis is a majorette-based dance team. So when you see them, they'll normally be with the band. Majorette is a style of dance that is most popular in colleges and HBCUs. So you'll see them at football, basketball games, and pep rally. Our main goal this year is just to show a lot of spirit and to get the school hype. Like Dennis said, Majorette is really popular at HBCU, so also we're bringing like a different culture to the school. If you're ever at the football game, you can always come down and watch us. We're right next to Purple Rain, just the per perfect spot for us to be at. Um, we feed off you guys' energy and like we'll just love for you guys to come down and support us. With the fall season approaching us, our athletes are preparing for their upcoming games. With volleyball, girls golf, boys tennis, soccer, cross country, and of course football all happening at the same time, Purple Rain needs your help to support our Giants on their road to success. For more information about upcoming games, please visit our Twitter page at BD Purple Rain. Make sure you come out and support. And remember, there's a reason they call us Giants. Vanessa Ticino, BD TV. Hello Giants, I am Maya Abramson and welcome back to school. We had a nice hot summer, but let's take a look at just how hot things will be as we get back. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 61, while Saturday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 89 and a low of 66. Sunday is the last day of the State Fair, but be wary as we have a 40% chance of rain and some scattered afternoon thunderstorms. The high will be 87 and the low will be 70. 
We can plan on scattered and isolated thunderstorms all throughout this next week. Kicking off the school week, Monday will have a high of 87 and a low of 67 with a 40% chance of rain. Tuesday will have a high of 85 and a low of 66 with another 40% chance of rain. Wednesday has a 30% chance of rain and will be mostly partly cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 66. Thursday also has a 30% chance of rain, but will be mostly partly cloudy with a high around 85 and a low of about 66, while Friday will have a high of 85 and a low around 66 with a 40% chance of rain. Currently I am a barber. I am uh, working on my modeling and I'm also an uh, entrepreneur starting my own business in uh, barbering and I also do music, some more artists as well. It all started when I got out of uh, my job, my four to five job. It was uh, at IHOP and I got fired so I started working as a barber just to make extra income. And then from there, those three years passed by and I just kept going with it. I feel like a lot of people just need to get out of the comfort zone. They just need to do uh, new things every day. I always say a day that you do something new is a day you learn something, a day you know that got you into, into doing something. I would say stay focused. Stay focused in school because right now I'm currently going to IU as well and it, and it gets harder. Um, I just say stick to what you want to do, but don't be afraid to get out of that comfort zone. Don't be afraid to try something new and uh, maybe something that you may not like. Don't be afraid to fail and all that. First I said, we make sure to give you what you want and what you need to everything from news and entertainment on TV. If you were with us, then you know that it'd be clear to see my team is working hard to give you facts involving you and me. From there, basically, BDTV, we try to give y'all everything that y'all need. News, entertainment, we do sports. Well, not only do we do sports, we try and cover like things that's going on in the real world. So I try to make sure that I give y'all a little insight on how hard my team actually does work to not only film it, but attend games, try to attend attend events. They try to get facts on clubs, other info, just to make sure like we can give y'all not something that's informing y'all, but something that can actually have y'all like want to watch what we giving y'all. Yeah. Home of the Giants, prepare to win work in overdrive. We do a skip, whip it up, and now it's recording time. White and purple, my colors know that I'm supporting mine. We got a game hop in the field, now it's recording time. Like I said, home of the Giants, it's BD. I gotta show my colors white and purple. You know, and I said, we got a game hop in the field, now it's recording time. Let's take it to like football. We got a scrimmage game, regular football game. We gotta make sure we're there. We're trying to capture almost every single moment, whether it's somebody getting the play, getting the touchdown, catching some, you feel me? We trying to make sure we get everything in it. I said, we've been strong throughout these years. It ain't no going back. We came too far to knock us down and ain't no holding back. We ran it up since Mr. Benjamin controlled the track, the giants of the city. We came hard to take over the net. Basically, Ben Davis has came a long way. I'm not, I'm not quite sure on the history, but I know that for a fact, we try hard and with this BDTV, like we've been improving throughout the years and it's only getting better and better for me even though like studio equipment's coming better cameras we just trying hard to make a better name for ourselves to pop up in indianapolis and when i said we ran it up since mr benjamin controlled the track if you know the beginning before ben davis was even built we had uh benjamin davis he was the superintendent of the vandalia railroad track and I said we ran it up since Mr. Benjamin controlled the track. So you can kind of see like where I'm coming from. And I said we the giants of the city. We came hard to take over the net. So really, like I said, we trying to represent 317 Indianapolis. That's it. Thank you, like, man. 
Hey, hey, you got the answers? Hey, young man, you want to take your hood off for me? Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Hey, slow down. Don't hurt yourself. Slow down, young man. Hey, young man, where are you headed? Uh, I'm going to class. Going to class? Yeah. All right. You make sure you have your pass with you. Tell your teacher. I appreciate right. it. Thank right. you. Thanks, Giants, for tuning into this week's newscast. Let's make this a great year by staying on track. And, and remember, remember, Giants, if it's, it's about you and me, it's on BDTV. TV.